All right, so what is good, guys? It is Noza Parks here, and today we're going to be talking about whether Sarda is overpowered or not. All right, so in this first section, we'll be talking about number one the move set now if we look at the move set there's nothing really overpowered about it i don't see anything that's really overpowered i have heard although i have heard a few complaints about how the second part of her neutral combo has a little bit of an issue um it's because she throws out two shuriken like may does people automatically associate that with tracking and then People automatically think that it's overpowered. It's like, cause May back in Revolution, that thing was mad OP, and people would just spam it from long range to get in close. And people still do it even with Nagato. People do do that all the time. But it's not really a big issue. Be seeing as, see the difference is May's hers has a huge stun on it. Iruka has the same thing, but no one complains about him, and his has a large stun on it. But no one complains about that. I wonder why. Because people, I feel like people just want to complain about Sarada. Want to complain, saying that she's overpowered. Like, oh my gosh, boo hoo, you know? Anyways, moving on from that. Next thing up is her jutsu. People have told me that this jutsu is mad broken. And for once, I agree. This thing, this thing has a very big problem with the fact that it can stun people even after the actual chakras because the way it's thrown the, 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 the lightning shuriken it leaves the sarda it goes flying towards the opponent and leaves a trail of lightning now that trail of lightning leaves a stun if you happen to try and dash or or try anything it, it stuns you if it happens if you happen to be in the line of sight so that whole thing yes it's, it's, it's broken I won't even lie that's why generally if I only use that jutsu in excess when people are irritating me so I know it irritates people when their dash is just the chakra dash is just suddenly stopped so I, I, I I, it's it's a broken I can live with and not to mention there are many broken jutsus in this game Let's look at it. We can look at the Rasengans how quick they are on startup frames. We can look at mm, The invincibility frames on um, PTS Lee's um, Jutsu we can also look at PTS Neji how it's very quick to the point Hmm, what could there? There are many, many, many OP juices in this game, and that's why it's, it's very annoying. And even in this cutscene, see how he, his, his dash was stopped. It's a, it's a broken jutsu. Anyways, moving on from that, her ultimate jutsu. People have said one of the, her biggest problems is the fact that her ultimate jutsu was broken. But does it have tracking? No. So why is it overpowered? Does it is it easy to combo to cancel with? Does it have invincibility frames? Hmm. I don't know. Does it have invincibility frames? No, it doesn't have invincibility frames. So what pray tell makes it overpowered? I have seen in the few, few, very, very few times where the jutsu even once even after the fireball leaves her mouth. If you come into contact with Sarada herself, it will hit you. The ultimate jutsu cutscene will start up. But that has rarely, I have not even, it hasn't even happened to me and I have the character. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Look, he just sidestepped the jutsu. It's not hard to dodge it. I don't know, I don't see, and not to mention he dashed me afterwards. So like I said, it doesn't happen very often. It barely happens at all, to be honest. But when compared to Itachi's ultimate, when invincibility frames, or Chidori True Spear, or, um, Sage, Sage, oh, why can't I never get this name right? Hashirama reanimated. 
his ultimate jutsu has a weird effect where if any part of the dragon hits you then you get hurt by it so it's just everything you, you want to see that sarda is overpowered but like look at other characters other characters all have this type of stuff and then i have heard someone say that sarda is a mix of everything that's broken about everybody else but like her her moveset, her ultimate jutsu, and her jutsu really don't... They're not really that overpowered. Not really, to be honest. But, hey. Everyone has their opinion. Anyways, that's it from me, guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I am out. And peace.